And welcome to this Constellation Championship Sweet 16 matchup here between Hansberry College Prep and Naperville North. Both teams took a tough loss yesterday. Both looking to bounce back. As we introduce the starting lineups, we will get back to you when this game begins. And as we inch closer to tip off, take a look at the starting lineups. For uh, Hansberry, we've got the, uh, obviously the Brooks brothers were doing very well yesterday. Both hit with over, with double digit points as per usual. With the compliment of Jalen Harris, Zaire Tobar, and Jamarian Mazzi. For Naperville North, once again, Luke Williams, all tournament selection last year. Followed up with a great performance yesterday in uh, overtime thriller against Fenwick. Along with Bryce Wells, Jack Kalashan, Grand Monterey. As Naperville North wins the tip off. So our next deal with the ball now. Bryce Welch thinking about it. And Bryce Wells loses the ball. Jalen Harris finished the layup. That opens the scoring today. Hansberry Prep on top two. Rural North looking to respond now. Looks like Rural North going with a very senior heavy lineup. Only one player that is not a senior. There's a three point from Jack Calstan does not go as Luke Williams will get the offensive rebound and finish it, tying this game up at two. Obviously, if your hands very proud, Al Brooks is the guy you want with the ball as he goes up, unable to get the finish, so Welch will come down with the rebound. Calston thought about it, kicks it out, steal for three. Off the back rim. And he gets his own rebound, but they're gonna call travel on him and that will be Hansberry Ball. <laughs> Jalen Harris loses his handle. Ike Brooks throws it to his brother, but it is picked off. Jack Colstrand right there, picked that off. Back underneath, Calstrand. That one was Calstrand underneath the basket with a nice finish. That gives Naperville North a lead as Ike Brooks running the floor, loses his handle though. There's enough to Welch. Just off on the layup. Williams with the offensive rebound. Monterey. Luke Williams thinks about it, drives in, kicks it well, it's wide open, three. Off the side of the rim, but another offensive rebound. Yet another offensive rebound here, as they're gonna get a travel there on Grant Montar Montanari. Had a lot of offensive rebounds right there. Just couldn't get the, the basket. Yeah, you can see Al Brooks is the tallest player on the floor. But he is more of a perimeter-centric player, so he has not been there getting the rebounds. He's trying to look for a shot now. And the ball. off the hands of Ike Brooks. That will be Naperville North ball. We're going to have a timeout. Like that will be a timeout issued to Hansberry Prep. And with that, we will take a short break.
We return. And there's Naperville North ball of Max Steele inbounding. And that will be out of bounds off. Looks like there's a call strand as we prep will take over. Al Brooks with a little bit of a mismatch with Max Steele on him. Passes to his brother. Ike Brooks trying to get to the paint, stopped by Williams. Thought about pulling it. Harris back to Brooks. Trying to get it to his brother, can't find him. There he is now with the turnaround jumper. Nothing but backboard on that. And that will be a shot clock violation on Hansberry Prep. It's like Ike Brooks, or Al Brooks had the shot he wanted, just was not able to hit. Gonna have to look for something new on the next possession. That we see Ben Victor getting ready to check in. Williams, pull up jump shot is good. That gives him four now. Al Bricks wants to shoot. Nice dump off pass to Harris. And they'll give, looks like it'll be a foul against Naperville North. Foul will go against Grant Montanari. It'll be the first foul issue of this game. And they'll get a travel there on Brooks. A very turnover heavy first half here. Still gets it over. Luke Williams, great pass. Ben Victor not able to hit it. Colstrand with the rebound. Colstrand driving. Kicks it back out. Montanari, unable to hit either. And they're going to get an over the back call there on Luke Williams. And out comes Montanari. In comes. Ben Victor. Oh, my bad. And here we have the inbound. Williams got a hand on that ball. Brooks able to call come away with it. Kicks it out to his brother. Brother pulls it. Al Brooks not able to get the bounce. Colston with the rebound. Colston driving. The pump fake and he hits the hook. Great move. And he goes up to four points. Pushing this lead to six. Al Brooks with a nice spin. But that one's blocked by Colston. Get it right back to him. Kicks it out. Harris, he's unable to hit. And Naperville North secures the rebound. Colstrand, pump fake. And a nice strip there by Ike Brooks. And in comes some more subs for Naperville North. So Steele and Montanari are coming back into this game. Luke Williams wide open in the post and he hits the hook. A little bit of a miscommunication on defense for Hansberry. Ike Brooks with the double.
Looking for something. John Dansby. Harris, little pump fake. Luke Williams with some quick hands to knock it away. Now Brooks with a step back jumper, hits it from the free throw line. That's that shooting touch from Al Brooks that we always love to see. Very nice right-handed shooter. Knocks that one down right there. See a three-on-one on the left side of the court. Colstrand, Colstrand wide up. open. Unable to hit that. And they're going to call that off of Montanari. That'll be Hansberry prep ball. Down six. Very manageable. But they're going to have to get something going right now. As Colstrand will knock that pass away. Jalen Harris, 5'9 guard. Brooks driving to the paint, puts up the floater, and gets the bounce to go. It gives him his first points of the game and cuts this lead down to four. Something Hansberry needs if they want to get back into this game. As they're going to get a foul there on John Dansby. Tried to strip that one away from Colt Strand. But he was unable to. And Luke Williams inbounding the ball. Finds Welch in the paint. Stripped away by Al Brooks. And here comes Hansberry. Al Brooks wants to shoot. It does. And hits again. Great pull-up jumper there. Deep mid-range. That gives him his second bucket of the game. Cuts his lead down to two with 30 seconds left in the quarter. Wide open three for Luke Williams. And he hits. Luke Williams will be playing football at Purdue next year, so he's very good at football and basketball, apparently. Yeah, already with nine first quarter points. As you see, Al Brooks showing off the handles, dishes it off. And they're going to get up and down there on Shumarian Gilbert. Yet another turnover for Hansberry Prep. Great matchup here, Luke Williams versus Al Brooks. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Find Luke Williams cutting. And they're going to get the foul against Gilbert. Less than a second left on the clock. And Niverell North will have a chance for two points here. First shot up, and down to Luke Williams. That already gives him double digits for the first quarter. Luke Williams was all tournament selection last year in the Jack Tosh tournament. Yeah, really showing why that selection was made. Average 21 points per game. As that one is off, that will end our first quarter. Naperville North 14, Hansbury Prep 8. Very manageable, very close game so far. Love to see how this one goes. With that, we're going to take a break. We'll get back to you soon. You've been watching York Sports Network.
We return from the first, end of the first quarter, beginning the second quarter. Hansbury will have the ball with the chance to cut it to a one-score game. Jalen Harris with a spin pass that is picked off by Coltstrand. And now who else with the ball but Luke Williams. Max Steele with a nice pump fake. Unable to hit the three though. And again with his own offensive rebound. It's the second time getting an offensive rebound off a three point shot. Coltstrand feeds it down low. Montanari working. Luke Williams with the mismatch. Dishes it. Steal. Shot clock running low. Ten seconds now. Williams got to think about something. Cut to the paint. Nice move. Unable to hit, though. And it looks like it'll be a save. Luke Williams thinking about it. Pass out to Welch. In and out. And they're going to call that off of... Naperville North, Hansbury will retain possession. Of the 14 points that Naperville North has, it has only been from two of their players, Luke Williams and Jack Holstrand. Yeah, they've been the main, usually all are the main scorers for this team. But not usually the only scorers, but it is working as they do have a six-point lead, as we do see Luke Williams cut into the paint early. And he will be fouled. Luke Williams heading to the line for two shots. First one goes down. And the second one goes down as well. That gives him 12 on the game. As Naperville North now doubles Hansberry's points. And there is yet another turnover by Hansberry. They dish it down. Welch, his first buck of the game goes down. Getting that lead to 10 point. Great transition play there. Mike Brooks trying to get into this game. And there is Zaire Tobar with his first points of the game. Nothing but net on that one. Free throw jumper goes down easily. Cole Strand will draw the foul. Looks like he's a little shaken up. Tobar with his first. He's going to get up and go to the line. First one, nothing but nylon on that. Increases the lead to nine. Second one, bounces in. Once again, a 10 point lead here for Naperville North. That's where you gotta have something to respond with. As Big read ball. the pass perfectly is Colstrand, and Ike Brooks strips it right back. Tobar will slow it down. And they're going to get a travel, move the pivot put there. Get another turnover for these Hansberry Tigers. The Bengals. Yeah, they seem to be having a lot of turnovers, and that's just not good in a tournament like this. Or they need to just keep it going. Yeah, that, Averill North did very well. Just defending them this whole game so far. Chad Garrett able to hold on to that. A long pass. Jalen Harris doesn't like what he sees. That'll be a kickball violation on Montanari. 
forgot he was playing basketball. Thought he was playing soccer there for a second. Indeed. And here we see some substitutions being made. Ike Brooks gets it stripped away. Tobar thinking about something. Finds Garrett. Garrett in and out on that three point attempt. They're going to get a foul on number 24. Luke Williams looking like a very strong player on the court. Absolutely returning junior from last year. Saw how good he was continuing his play. As we see a three from the corner, Ben Victor. Getting his first points of the game. And Hansberry will once again call a timeout. With that, we're going to take a break. We'll be back to you soon. You've been watching York Sports Network. And as we return from the timeout, Hansberry Prep is going to need um, something going to cut this lead down. Only 10 points in this first half. A very high scoring game yesterday. Not the same case tonight. Or this morning. Tobar with a nice midair move, and he gets the bounce to go. His second bucket of the game cuts this lead to 11. Montaneri is wide open in the paint. Finishes the alley-oop layup. Puts this lead right back to 13. Puts up his first points of the game. They threw a north, lost in overtime yesterday, and they didn't like it, so they're coming back. Absolutely an overtime thriller against Fenwick. This looks like they'll get a foul here. Down to go against Ben Victor. He's not happy about it. Ike Brooks drives right to the paint. Can't get the glass shot to go. And here comes the Huskies. Ben Victor pulls up way short. A little bit short. Al Brooks going right to the bucket. Getting doubled. Kicks it out, Garrett. Tobar will pull it, and nothing but nylon on that. That's a huge shot for the Bengals. Tobar increases his point total to seven. Cutting the lead down to 10 points. As it looks like they'll get a foul here on Tobar. That'll be his second foul of the game. It looks like he will stay in the game. And it looks like they'll get another foul. Looks like this one goes against Chad Garrett. This will send Bryce Welch to the line for two shots. First one goes down. 
Bryce Welch actually has an offer from the Naval Academy, which is very cool. Interesting, yeah. Not a school you really see basketball at a lot, but Bryce Welch decides to go there. He will definitely bring a lot of talent along with him. And that free throw shooting is both. Nothing but net. He's up to four. Tobar gets it stripped away, but right back into Brooks' hands. Brooks right to the paint. Now uses that 6-7 frame to get the easy layup at the bucket. We just match up again. Luke Williams versus Al Brooks. Something we got to watch all day. Bryce Welch draws a foul on Ike Brooks. That'll be Brooks' first foul. Bryce Welch returns to the line. Bryce Welch averaged 11 points per game last year. Yeah, we see a lot of returning juniors, now seniors, for this Naperville North starting lineup. They're very senior heavy. Yeah, it looks like all seniors except for the sophomore, Max Steele, as the second one just can't, cannot get the second one to go. Al Brooks oh. makes a man fall with those handles. Oh. And yet another kickball by Montanari. Another soccer play there by Montanari. Wonder if he plays soccer. He might. It's a false sport, so he can play both. Good indeed. Uh, Brooks has his pass tipped. Oh. And he strips away from Williams. Quick hands. Ball Seen him flying. all day from Brooks. Nina to Montanari. Right against Brooks. And there we see Cole Strand. Easy hook shot. Increase the lead to 13. And the Cole Strand Williams duo now has 20 total points for the game. Tobar pulls it, cannot get the bounce to go in and out. And it looks like they're going to get a foul against Naperville North. Not sure who it's on. And they'll get it on Montanari. Only Montanari's second, and out of the game he comes. Obviously want to keep him for later stages of this game. Don't want him to get into foul trouble. Second time we've seen Will Harvey in. Luke Williams just reads the pass perfectly. Dishes it off to Bryce Welch. Oh. And they're going to get a foul there on Al Brooks. Third straight trip to the line for Bryce Welch. So far, two or three of four. He's going to try and make that five of six right here. Hopefully. First one down. Nothing but that on that one. Yeah, can we see Jalen Harris? Well, the second one is good as well. Hands very prepped, trying to find something. Tobar thought about it. Ike Brooks cuts through two defenders. Can't get the shot to go, though. We dish it down. Colstrand thought about it. And stripped away, Jalen Harris going right to the paint, and he will draw the foul. That one will go against number 30. Oh, against Grant Birkin.
First one from Paris. Off the side of the back, side of the rim in the backboard. Unlucky bounce there. Indeed. Second one is good. Makes up for that first one. Here's Hansberry, 18. Luke Williams, we've not seen him score in this second quarter so far. See, he's trying to change that as he gets fouled. And as Hansberry does have five fouls, that should send him to the line. And it will. And that is third foul here on Tobar. Williams looks a little shaken up from that last one, but back on the line. First one is good. And out comes Tobar, trying to save him for later stages. And in comes John Dansby. First one, but the second one is good as well. Perfect from the line stage, Luke Williams, as he gets subbed out, gets a standing ovation from the crowd. 31 seconds here, second quarter until we go to halftime. Shot clock will be off the remainder of this half. Al Brooks pushing the pace, and we'll draw the, and they will draw the foul. Fans wanted to charge, but Pierce Ben Victor will pick that one up. Al Brooks will go to the line. First one is good. Hansbury's going to try to knock down this 15 point lead that Naperville North has on him. Yeah, let's see what Naperville North can respond with after this free throw, which gets the bounce to go. 25 seconds left in the half. Wonder if they'll hold or try to push it. As Hansbury, very aggressive defense. Feeds it down low. Harris on a mismatch, but rips it away. And they're going to get the jump ball. And we. And Naperville North will retain possession. Does have the arrow. Luke Williams back in. Yeah, it looks like they're probably going to want to try to get him the ball for this last second shot. 15 seconds left on the clock. Going to get it to Colstrand. Clock now under 10 seconds. Luke Williams picks it back out. Welch wide open. Can't get the bounce. Put back by Colstrand. No good. Brooks. What's full up? court shot. Oh. oh, just off the back rim. Very close there. Great attempt. Got all the power. Maybe just a little too much. Very accurate. Almost got to cut that lead down before yeah. halftime, but. Ryan, what do you think Naperville North has done well to retain this lead? They've been very good at their uh, defense and just turning over the ball and getting it back, not letting Hensbury to put up a shot even. And they've just been also very strong on offense with uh, Luke Williams having 14 points there. Which is and Jack Colstrand having eight points and it's very strong. Yeah, they've had a good mix of guys getting some scoring. Saw a very two-player heavy lineup with Luke Williams and uh, Jack Kallstrand early. We saw them almost score all the team points in the first quarter. Very, very distributed in the second quarter. A lot, of more, a lot more team play. What do you think Hansbury has to do to come back to this game? I think they have to step up their offense, just not let those turnovers happen. You got to keep the ball, get the ball up there. And they got also got to... Got to work on their defense. They got to target players like Luke Williams, or yeah, Luke Williams and Jack Halstern. Putting yeah, most of the points. I think they they need to get the ball a little more to Al Brooks. He's been very efficient, leading scorer, but has not had the opportunities. It looks like he deserves the tallest guy on the court. So absolutely, got to get but, over him. Yeah, with that, we're gonna come back to you when halftime is over. You've been watching York Sports Network, Jack Tosh Holiday Classic.
We return from the halftime break. Naperville North will start with the ball up 14. And it looks like they're going with the same lineup they had in the first half. Luke Williams at the head. Walsh goes straight, great pass to Monteri. And a steal by Jalen Harris, wide open. Luke Williams almost Dang. gets to that, but Jalen Harris able to finish the layup. Luke Williams got up there on that one, but he just couldn't get it. Yeah, he could hear the smack on the backboard. Just was not able to get any ball. And that one stripped away by Al Brooks. Garrett straight to the paint, off the glass. And they'll call a foul on Naperville North. It looks like that one's going to go against Max Steele. It will go against Max Steele, and that will send Chad Garrett to the charity stripe for two shots. Take the uh, Second one from Garrett, also off. Unable to get some, some points. So yeah, three on three with Luke Williams. Kissed it straight to the paint. And Ike Brooks, and yet, an, yet another poked ball. He's going straight to the cup. Doesn't get it to go. Al Brooks, his brother with the offensive rebound, also not able to get it to go. They're going to pick up a foul on Jalen Harris. Hansbury seems to be getting a lot of turnovers on this one, but they're just unable to get the ball up there. And yeah, get, they're getting steals. Just not able to finish. Luke Williams working on the smaller Harris. Kicks it out to Welch. He's not able to control it. Holtstrand, not able to get to layup to go, but an offensive rebound, and they will get the foul. Saw that open lane there and just went for it. it was very close, but I believe that will go against Tobar. That will be his fourth foul of the game. Deep in foul trouble early in the second half. One away from being kicked out of the game. They're going to sub him out for John Dansby. It's not good as he he's seven points so far this game and. It's top score for their team. They need to keep him out there. Yeah, he's been able to score from all three levels. You can see how unhappy he is on the bench, frustrated with himself. As Neverville North will have it underneath the basket. Luke Williams get, gets the immediate double. Holtstrand looking for something. Find Steele wide open in the corner. In and out. Oh. Great rebound there by Montaneri. Colt Strand wide open. Nothing but net. What a shot there by Colt Strand. Colt Strand and getting it double digits. Looks like Ike Brooks point. trying to push it too fast. Max Steele gets an easy left-handed layup to go. Extends this lead to 17. Al Brooks with a nice spin. Soft finish doesn't go. Holstrand running the floor fast. And he'll get fouled. Holstrand number 11, 11 points. And they'll get a timeout for Hansberry. I believe. Or maybe not. There's no timeout. Oh, you get, there was a warning issue to the Hansberry bench. It's like a little bit of argument coming over there. Refs don't like it. They'll issue the warning. That means next time it will be a technical foul. And free shots for Naperville North as the first one from Colt Strand misses. Second one also off. And Brooks able to get the rebound.
Al going right to the paint, oh. and they're going to get a blocking foul. Grand Montanari with his third foul. He's trying to get into foul trouble as well. They'll sub him out. Will Harvey into the game now. And the tip ball from Luke Williams. That one will stay a lot of bounds. Sticks with Ham Hansberry. He's not going to get there in time to get that one. Great quick hands, though. Al Brooks trying to work on a mismatch. Ike Brooks tries to get it to him. Triple teamed, pushed it away. Welch wide open Bang. and an easy layup. And increases the lead to 19 now for Naperville North. As a way wire pass gets away from Brooks. Luke Williams on a two on two with Coldstrand. He'll try to get the end one to go. Can't get it to fall so he will go to the line for two. Naperville North starting to run away with this game. First run, Williams is good. He stays perfect. Naperville North, 20 point lead now. Luke Williams, 15 points. Now comes Cole Strand, some applause. Williams misses his first free throw of the day. And they're going to get, look, they will get a foul on Max Steele here underneath the basket. Appears to be a push off for the rebound. And out comes he, and in comes Ben Victor, known sharpshooter. Al Brooks pushing the pace. Once again, another, lo another loose ball, this one will be with Hansberry. Seen every time Hansberry tries to push the pace, looks like they lose the ball. Maybe they need to try to slow it down this time. Brooks pulls up off the rim. The 5'9 guard gets the rebound, can't get it to go. Ike Brooks again, another missed shot. And Luke Williams will come down with the board. They just can't seem to get the ball in the basket. And an airmailed layup attempt. It's a wide open. Ben Victor from the corner hits. Bang. Increase the lead to 22 now. Hansberry's got to have something going if they want to even make this game close. And Naperville North doubling Hansberry's points for us now, right and now. Yet another turnover by Hansberry. Welch with an easy right-handed finish. And a well-needed well -needed timeout here for Hansberry. Bryce Welch put up his uh, double, double digits points. 11 yeah. points. He's now up to 11 match. He's second scorer. On this lineup here for Naperville North, that does have double digits. And as we get to this timeout, we will take a break. You've been watching York Sports Network. And quickly back from that timeout, Hansberry will have the ball underneath the basket. Really gonna have to stop with these turnovers if they want to make anything happen. Al Brooks working on two defenders. Throws it way over the head of John Dansby. Once again, story of this game, turnovers, turnovers, turnovers for Hansberry. Yeah, they just can't seem to keep the ball and get it. Yeah, I mean, 
the score does not really show how well Hansberry has shot the ball. They just haven't really had the chances with all these turnovers. And Tim Welch takes a contested three. Not able to get the bounce to go. And Al Brooks comes away with a rebound. A little bit of spin. And they'll get a foul. Send Brooks to the line. I believe that was against, yes it was, it was against Will Harvey. Number 33. His first foul of the game. First one from Brooks, hits back rim, unable to get it to go down. In comes some subs, including Matt Steele. Al Brooks is a junior, so he will be back here next year. Yeah, very impressive. Had over 20 points in his first game. Not able to put up those same scoring numbers right now. Still, still do have another quarter as Jalen Harris gets a nice steal. He's pushing the pace right to the cup. Not able to let go, but a nice tip there from Dansby. Puts it into the bucket. Getting his first points for the game. Steal wide open from the corner. Back rim. Johnson not able to get the rebound. Oh, a nice hezzy move by Dansby. Unable to get the finish. Huge offensive rebound by Brooks and the and one. Tough plays by a tough player. Al Brooks Jr. will go to the line. Trying to make this a three point play. Al Brooks is considered a top junior in the state of Illinois and we're starting to see why. Absolutely. Known for that shooting, but right there we see him in the physicality and the paint. So we do get a timeout from Naperville North. With that, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back in a few. And we return from break with the 19 point lead in Naperville North's favor. Al Brooks trying to convert a three point play on an and one offensive rebound layup. And he does get it to go. That increases his scoring total to 12. We're gonna get a foul here. That will go against Tremarian Gilbert. It'll be his second foul. If you're a Hansbury fan, you gotta wonder when they're gonna put Zaire Tobar back in the game. Still not even through three quarters, but he does have four fouls. Cole, Cole Strand does hit the first. And the second on a nice bounce. He's up to 13. Al Brooks trying to find something. Look at another kickball on Montanari. That's his third of the day. He really thinks he's playing soccer out here. I, I do wonder if he is a soccer player for Naperville North. I mean, I've never seen this amount of kickballs by one player in a game. That's about the only explanation I have. Harris pulls up, front rim, no good. Montanari with the rebound. And this one, back in the hands of Luke Williams. As that goes off of Montanari's foot once again, goes to the other team. And a nice Al Brooks. Nice second chance layup there for Al Brooks. Great mid-air control. They'll get Al Brooks up to 14 points. And they're gonna get Victor Burgeon on that foul. He's trying to argue with the ref that he didn't 
did not have a foul, but ref not buying it. That, as that is the fifth foul for Hansberry, that will send Luke Williams to the line. Got some shoe tying out on the court. First one for Williams is good. I believe that does give him 16 points on the game now. Second one, a little swirl, but it goes in. Al Brooks out to Harris. Brooks calling for the screen. Doesn't like what he sees. Pulls the three. Not even close. And they're going to get a foul on the Dansby there. Luke Williams was locking him up there. The three pointer went off the top of the backboard there. Yeah, he had two guys on him, so it wasn't a great attempt. We'll see Max Steele now at the line. Seem to be seeing a lot of Naperville North players on the line right now. This is one of two sophomores rostered for Naperville North. Also a starter on this very older, I would say more veteran present team. He's a very young player for this and they, he has been doing very well today. As Luke Williams gets an offensive rebound. Watson already thought about it. Steal, pump fake, dishes out to Williams. And they're going to get a double dribble on Steele. Picked up his dribble. Can't do that. You see a nice little shot from Colstrand after the whistle. Jalen Harris showing off the handles. Brooks, spin move in the paint. Can't get the hook to go. And also can't get his rebound. They're going to get a foul on Al Brooks. So we'll send Montaneri to the line. We're going to see our soccer player up on the line. See those hands are as good as those feet. And he hits the first one. Second one is good as well. That increases the lead to 23. See, sweet. We see him check out. In comes to Will Harvey, the other sophomore. This Naperville North squad. Jalen Harris with the ball right now. Transfer from Oak, Oak Forest. Down to Al Brooks in the paint. Gets some jumping, and he puts it in. Being 6'7", it's got to be a little easier to finish in the paint like that. He's able to do it. He's up to 16. Luke Williams, he'll draw the foul. Once again, going to the line is Naperville North. 8.9 left on the clock. Luke Williams, only with one missed free throw on the day. He, he, if he can match his amazing free throw shooting today. The first one is good. That increases his scoring total to 18. Now, as we said earlier, he will be going to play football at Purdue. And he's looking like Zach Eady right now out in the court. Maybe he'll take his spot next year. Maybe. See if he's a dual sport player. Brooks just throws up a shot at the, near the end of the buzzer. Steele throws a full court shot up. Off the top of the backboard, no good. And at the end of the third quarter, we do still have a 23 point lead in Naperville North's favor. Leading scorer right now is Luke Williams, who at the, at the moment is at 19. We'll see if, he, if the Naperville Huskies decide to play him in the fourth quarter as they do have a very big lead. So he might not get over that 20 point mark. We shall see when we return from this break.
How's your Christmas? It's Naperville North coming out with the ball. Max Steele inbounding. Gets it into Welch. Steele trying to run the play. Gets it out to Kevin Williams who immediately draws a double. Colstrand drives, Brooks pokes it away and he'll get the steal. Brooks going straight at Williams. And a great soft finish at the cup. Gives him 18. He's been just about the only bright spot on this offense for Hansberry today. Got over half their points. Also on the defense, having lots of turnovers. Oh yeah, forcing a few turnovers on the defensive end as well. And they will get a foul on Chad Garrett. Hansbury not happy with that call. And as it is the new quarter, we will not be seeing people at the line. With an inbound play. The Welch, she dishes it out to Williams. Trying to find Luke Williams on the cut. Not able to. Luke was going for the fader off the glass. Quite the shot there with the fading midi. That gives him 21. Tobar just pulls it, not even close. Missed the basket there by, by the foot. Don't know about that shot selection. Welch kicks it out to Steele, wide open in the corner. Not able to hit Steele. Down on his usual shooting tonight. Ike Brooks, he'll draw the foul, looks like. That one to go against Steele. That's his third. Now comes Chad Garrett, in comes John Dansby. Tobar trying to get another shot up. Unable to. Jalen Harris trying to work on Luke Williams. That's not going to work with a defender like that. And they're going to get a foul, actually. Don't know what that call was, actually. Need Brooks on Williams again. Coldstrand right to the basket, and he gets the hook to go. That increases his scoring total to 15. And increases his lead to 25. And Welch almost had a breakaway. Tobar just throws it up and gets it to go. Quite the shot there, gives him nine today. Luke Williams just trying to dribble out some clock. Colstrand open, thinks about it. They'll get a travel there, picked up the pivot foot. The fans heckling over here. We got Tobar hits to watch out. It's not foul. It's four fouls. Yeah, he's been sitting out for quite a while. Sat out the, almost the entire third quarter and about the first two minutes of his fourth. Now we finally get to see him again. Saw him shoot that three-pointer earlier, and he just loses the ball over his head. I don't know what that was. See Coldstrand. Driving kicks out to Welch. Welch thinks about it. Now back to Williams. Williams. Great move there by Martin. Oh my. Montanari. Fakes the pass and just does a spin. Gets an open shot at the lane. That gives him his sixth point of the game. Albrook's looking for the pass. Tobar wants to shoot it. Now out to Ike Brooks. He pulls it from deep range off the front of the rim and off the backboard. He almost had that one. Close. Looks like 
Hansberry just trying to have a little bit of fun with these deep three-point shots. This game is just about out of reach. The 25-point deficit with four minutes to go. Williams straight to the paint. Floater, and it hits. Luke Williams just can't seem to miss today. That gives him 23. This one down to Al Brooks. That gives him 20. Now we have a 20-point score on both teams. Al Brooks been doing everything he can to keep Hansberry in this game. Just has not been enough. And a oh. big block there. Al Brooks gets up there and says no to Welch. He's really using his height there. Yeah, as his brother is unable to finish on the other end. Williams just dribbling past everyone, kicks it out. Victor, wide open three, unable to hit. Tobar comes down with it. Whoa. And a great, great defensive play there by Ben Victor to draw the charge. And that will be the end of the night for to or Zaire Tobar. And we see the subs for Naperville North. Tobar was a top scorer for Hansbury, nine points, but sadly just. A bit of a surprise, we still see Luke Williams in this game, risking injury with three minutes left in a game that seems out of reach. All other players are not starters. So we'll see what the game plan is here for Naperville North as we see Ben Victor a little open. Decides not to shoot, pulls up from free throw range. Off the side of the rim, Brooks comes down with yet another rebound. As he pulls up, kicks it out. His brother poked up. Williams with another steal. Oh, and another layup there for Williams. Gives him 25. Average 21 points last year, so it's very, it's above average, his average right now. It looks like Victor will draw the, or Victor will foul Brooks. As finally out comes William, the standing ovation from everyone here. What a night, he, or what a game he has had today. Well deserved standing ovation as Naperville North will just try to end this game not giving up any more points. Dansby shoots it. Can't seem to get it to go. And everyone North will secure the rebound. Joel Rutterman now with the ball. First time we've seen him on the court. Kicks it to him. He had the three. Decided not to shoot it. And then John Dancy, quick hands, tips it out of bounds. As into the game for the first time, we see Samuel Franklin, the 6'6", forward. Is still in the game is Al Brooks. They're going to pass it to Rutterman deep into his own court. Just about loses the ball, keeps it. Just shoots it off. Floater here, airmailed. And Garrett will come down with it. Trying to look for Brooks in the post. Can't seem to find him. Dansby now. Rutterman all over him. He's able to poke it free. Throw him behind his back, but Rutterman can't get to it. Maybe picked up by Chumarian Gilbert. He just is off to Franklin. Franklin up to Brooks. Brooks with a little hezzy. Straight to the paint. And a charge again. This time, you see Sam Johnson, the senior, able to draw the foul. Al Brooks not happy about that one. Not at all. Thought he should have an and one. That'll be his third foul of the night. He has reached 20 points, though, which is more than half of Hansbury's points. Yeah, he has been a very, very bright spot on this very poor team as he gets another steal. That's a smaller Rutterman, just goes right by him. Easy right hand finish. Hansberry able to eclipse the 40 point mark with that layup from Brooks, but it's not gonna do anything. 
Sepp gives them a little bit more morale going into their next game. It's Garrett, going to dribble past everyone. He's going to lose his handle, though. They just sit down to Frank. To Marion Gilbert, he'll be fouled. Fouled that one on Noah Youssef. Gilbert will go to the line for two shots. Shots good from him and the three point shot. Not able to go down. Offensive rebound by that was Johnson. Wow, great play there by Sam Krebs. Got 25 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, throws it off of Franklin to retain possession with Naperville North. This bench players just trying to get some points Arterman on the board. in the paint, kicks it out. Sam Krebs thinking about something. Now oh, Krebs in the post. Brooks not even thinking about playing defense. Oh. Three. And then we get it. Brooks now with the rebound. 12 seconds left. Throws it up to Gilbert. Don't get on him. Johnson tries to glass him. Gilbert will be able to get the layup off. Johnson. And with that, Liverpool North will dribble out this clock, and that will be the end of this game. Good 21-point win for Naperville North Huskies over the Hansberry Bengals. What do, you think, what do you think was the main stake of this Naperville North team, Ryan? They just, they're very strong offensively and defensively. They forced a lot of turnovers to just get the ball and then just had a lot of three-pointers, a lot of layups, just found the open lane, just got in there and put it up. Yeah, it looked like starting off the game, they were looking through two guys. Those guys were Luke Williams, number five, and number 11, Jack Tallstrand. But as the game progressed, they looked to pass the ball even more, which extended the lead even more, ending up with this 21-point win, just absolutely dominating. What do you think Hansberry needs to improve on for the next game? Uh, there was a lot of turnovers by Hansberry, and they just need to be able to keep the ball, get it to people like Al Brooks, who obviously very strong player. He's very tall, has good hops, so they just need to get it to him, get points. There's also other people like... um. His brother Ike Brooks and Harris at, like to score points, and he gets them. And with that, we're going to go away, but don't go anywhere. We do have an interview with Luke Williams with, from Naperville North and the Naperville North coach. Don't go anywhere. You're watching York Sports Network. Number zero, number 11, and, and some of their guards that they've got, uh, we feel fortunate to have won. Um, I thought we had some great stretches defensively against a, a team that's hard to cover. So, uh, you know, I, I know they're going to have a great season ahead of them. All right, well, thank you, boys. Great job, boys. Great job, coach. Back to you guys. Turn it off. Remember to turn it on. 